What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the journey. My name is Miles and this is Miles of Exploring. I am here with my best friend Marcel. We have known each other for 18 plus years. Um, grew up together doing all different sorts of adventures. I've invited him to come out here and join me for the last two weeks so we're going to be doing Sweden and Norway together. So Glad to be here. He had a bit of a mix up with his flight yesterday, a little delay. So we got in pretty late last night, but we're here in the archipelagos and we're going to start exploring. Start strong. checking out the Vaza Museum and Bloodbath 
of 82 Swedish dignitaries were killed here due to the king's orders. So now it's a very famous area for tourists and locals to come and hang out at the trendy cafes and bars. Take some pictures. Town right now, we're gonna go check out the Katarina elevator or hiss. Hiss means elevator. I find that especially funny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see. There should be a 360 view up there of all of Stockholm, the old town, the new town, everything. What's up guys? So this is Marcel and I's last day here in Stockholm. We're just going to continue exploring Gamlenstan and the surrounding area. Uh, we met up with our new friend Lexi. Um, we met her in the hostel last night. You want to tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I'm from Hungary. I live in Holland and uh, I'm just here for a couple of days to travel and that's basically it. Yeah, so let's start exploring guys. way too early after its maiden voyage and we're gonna check it out see if it'll sink again <laughs> alrighty guys so we didn't get into the Vaza museum it was a little bit more than we wanted to pay for um, we weren't tricky enough yeah we tried to get in using the children's pass and then clearly once I walked it up <laughs> it was like you aren't three children so we're gonna go look for an art museum that should be free um, and keep going from there
I think it's Lexi's turn to tell us where we're going. Or what we just did and where we're going. We're going to Medieval Museum. After we just been to the Mother Arts Museum. Accidentally was also visit the architecture and design museum. Art guess. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was fun. We insulted some paintings. People were not happy. And uh, we're eating again. Made memes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Let's find this medieval museum. guys so that is gonna do it for our day it was a pretty fun day going from museum to museum uh, it didn't cost us anything which is an even better bonus but right now <laughs> we didn't have to be too tricky so um, what are we doing right now heading back to the hostel grabbing dinner and then we got a cool Viking pub we're going to tonight for some drinks but as always guys I leave you back at the hostel I don't bring you out when I go drinking sorry guys but that's just the way it is off limits Thank you to our friend Lexi for hanging with us all day. And, yeah. I've had a lot of time. Thank you for taking me. See you in the morning. So we just got on the train and we are we're leaving Stockholm, going to Gothenburg. About a five hour train ride. Had a good time in Stockholm, met a lot of people, saw a lot of things. But we're ready for Gothenburg now. Alrighty guys, so that was five hours for us. One second bad. for you guys. But we haven't had lunch and it's a little after four right now, so that's our first plan of action is to go get some lunch. Oh yeah, we gotta get some more bags. Which is like, I don't know, a more upscale Swedish McDonald's. <laughs> Lots of choices. Very tasty. That's what you need when you're on a budget. You need yep. those cheap options. So on a budget got us to on budget. After lunch we'll be ready to ready to start exploring guys. The promised land. Alrighty guys, just arrived here at our hostel in Gothenburg. We are gonna go find some dinner and start exploring. What's up? It's a rainy day here in Gothenburg, but we just bought the two-day Gothenburg pass so we can get around easily um, to all the music. You don't hear a lot of sirens here. That was a once-in-a-while occurrence. Um, but like I was saying, we, we can get around using all the public transportation now, and we can get into a lot of museums for free, which will be good for these next two days that are supposed to be rainy here. So Today's probably the lesser of the rainy days, so we're going to try and go to the um, Bohus Fortress. Uh, see how that looks. It's a medieval-looking thing. Lots of things to do around it. <laughs> and it's huge! <laughs> so... Gotta catch a bus now, and that's where we're headed right now, so.
two baguettes for the price of one. Not really, because we're not members. Well, I got it for the price of one. Yeah. My cashier hooked me up. But, um, yeah, we're going to check out the Maritime Museum. We're going to go in a boat, supposedly, if it's open. I think multiple boats. Multiple boats, yeah. And, oh, I got some more Bylar. I don't think the view is the old Bylar. Shout out to Bylar. Probably the best candy I've had in Sweden. And it might be the best candy I've had ever. <laughs> Try some. Sociable city in the world, according to online. So but not according to actual Swedes. Yeah, according to the Swedes, that's not true. So we're gonna go out tonight, and we're gonna celebrate me being out here for a hundred days, and and me for being out here one week. One week, yep. So let's do it. Sweden brought to you by Bylar. Bylar, it's really good.